In today's video, we're going full on Rick Moranis with the ones on this shelf. We're going to have a look at the slings today. So, a few weeks ago, or maybe a little longer, I did get this Apexel lens kit for my phone, which came with quite a few lenses and this little contraption part to attach to your phone literally just goes over the lens and then you have a few lenses like that that you can effectively screw on and have over the phone now I only tend to use one which is this one here and this one here is the macro lens the macro lens is sort of like a nice close-up one. You do have to get quite close to the spies and it's got a real short focal length, but you can get some really good footage with it. So what we're going to do today, as I've got to mess around with a lot of these slings, uh, feeding and having a bit of check over, checking their water and stuff, I thought what we'll do is we'll have a look at them through the macro lens, but what we will do is we won't be getting them all out um, and having a look at every single one of them because we've got a few duplicates. We've got like three Davis Pentaloris, three Samanis, things like that. But we have got to uh, also be aware that we won't be getting these ones out because we've got OBTs and killer brackets here. So we may get the lids off a couple of them, but we won't get the lids off all of them. But we'll have a look at them, have a, maybe a, feed, a few feeding clips and uh, just get some nice close-up footage. One I do want to get some close-up footage of is going to be this little boy in here or girl hopefully which is the uh, golden blue leg baboon that we rehoused the other week um, there's some lovely lovely legs on it now so we want to get some close-ups that so that's what we're going to do we're going to set the desk up we're going to do a little bit of feeding and we're going to get some close-ups of these ones first one we're going to have a check in on is this uh, histocratus gigas which molted recently I just want to have a quick look and make sure everything's okay with it. Hopefully it's not going to decide to bolt out. We've got the macro out, so we can get some footage of it. Let's have a look. Yeah, still really fresh and the only reason I'm looking at it is because it decided to fall down the hole as you'll see in a second on the molting time lapse that I managed to get of it. But yeah, this little tiny sling. Its back legs look alright, they're the ones I was worried about based on what was going on. Right. On to the next one. Right. We said we weren't going to look at spicy ones, but the next one I do need to check on is in here. Little OBT. I'll have a quick look at the OBT. I don't think it needs a feed. Might do. But this one was recently rehoused. So I need to have a quick look at this one and see how it's doing. Let's see if we can get some footage of this one without it being too spicy, shall we?
On to the next one though. On to the smallest one out of the crew. This is the smallest spider I have. The Lassadoria Klugi, aka the grain of sand. We'll have a little check on this one. We'll have a look through the little lens. This one is tiny. This one is so, so small. As you can possibly mm. see, I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not. Don't want to mess with the focus too much because it's an absolute pain to get it back. Let's have a look with the close up. Beautiful little spider. Very strange. Not it's got wrong with its leg. Oh, it's just being a spider. Okay. Some springtails in there with it. So it looks well fed. But yeah. This one had a little uh, bit of its molt stuck to its back end. I'll put some photos up here, I've got them. Um, I had to remove it with a paintbrush because it was blocking its little spinnerets at the back end. Bless it. But, yeah, little tiny sling. Really small spider. Again, not feeding that one, but I will give this one a water. <coughs> For that. Little tiny syringe, and just a couple of drops down either side, just on the glass. Then it's got access to drink if it wants to, just around the sides like that. Soil doesn't need watering, just a little bit like that. And then it's all done. Cool, on to the next one. Next up on the list. I know this isn't its name anymore, but this is the Avicularia Metallica, uh, which has been given a rename. So let's have a little look. This one had a really bad pedipalp, um, sort of broken pedipalp, and it's recently molted. Needs a feed. Needs a bit of water in there as well. So do the water first. Water bowl and a couple of drops on its leaves. Let's have a quick look at the close-up, shall we? Yeah, can you see it's new peddy palp? Colours on that. At least it's grown that back. That's quite cool. Next on the list we have uh, Harpactera Pocopies. Only reason I'm checking on this one is at a recent rehouse. Just want to make sure it's all okay. It's decided to web to the lid as well, which isn't the best. I want to give it some water. We'll have a quick look at it because this one's got some stunning colours, so we do want to have a quick peek at it. So I have to be a bit wary of this one, obviously. Old world, but they are very docile in terms of old world. This one's seemingly, anyway.
we have a little pumpkin patch another one that needs looking at I haven't seen it in a few days so we're gonna have a look and see what goes on oh we've got a malt in this one we've got a malt that's quite cool uh, I knew these were a little bit large but they don't go super dark we'll have a look at the spider first anyway <clears throat> and then we'll have a look and grab the malt out let's have a look webs up loads in here as you can see and here is our spider look at this beauty abdomen is to die for if it'll focus on it There we go. Look at that colours. They're amazing. Absolutely amazing looking spider. So this one won't be getting fed, but we will get its malt out and have a maybe a little look at the malt. Have a look at this little malt. Where are we there? Carapaces. Such a beautiful thing on these spiders, and it's obviously its abdomen. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I love how close you can get up with his lens. Abdomen looks to be intact. We might have a little play with this one later. Might have a little play with that. And see if we can sex the little person. Dude. Or do that. Whatever it's going to be. Well, let's have a look at the other Davos. See what's going on with this one. This one's always out. Again, not one that's going to need feeding, judging by the size of its backside. We'll have a look at this one. Get some close up. Where are you? You're over here. The colour of that carapace. Absolutely stunning looking thing. Beautiful, beautiful bronze carapace. And an abdomen to die for. Look at that. Such a nice looking spider. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, next one up. Next one up. I've only got a couple more to check out, really, because the other ones we're not disturbing. So let's get them down on the desk. A Therophosinus species Puria. I'm just checking on this one, not feeding it again. This one just needs a little bit of a check up every now and then because it moves a bit odd. And I've never been 100% happy with the way this one moves. Let's have a look and make sure it looks okay under the lens. Look at these colours. Very similar to the Thrixopelma purians in its appearance. Get that lighting over there and get that in focus. Look at the colours on this. Like the iridescence on the carapace and the abdomen. A little bit olive or emerald looking really. Another beautiful spider. 
some lovely markings on its legs similar to the Somani with those stripes those hairs what a gorgeous spider yep looks okay today that one and not being skittish which is awesome right last one we're going to check out today and this one isn't in one of the tiny tiny little sling pots but I've been meaning to have a check up on this one anyway just to make sure it's alright because I haven't looked at it for a little while and this is our Pamphobetus Macala so, a little bit flighty, so I will be a little bit more careful with this one with the lens. We've got to admire these colours, we've got to have a proper look at this under here. Look at that carapace. Carapace in the abdomen just absolutely absolutely stunning the eyes the carapace the markings the abdomen look at that those hairs it's absolutely stunning looking spider and will grow up to be an absolute beast absolute beast Stunning, beautiful little thing, absolutely beautiful. Doesn't need a feed, most of them don't, most of them have been fed. Anyway, that's our sling showcase done. Right, catch up in a sec. And we're back. So, what do you think? This lens, I mean, for the kit of all the lenses I got in the box, I think it was about 17 lenses. For, I think it was just over 20 pounds from Amazon. Um, can't go wrong really. Some of the footage is amazing. And the ability to be able to sex such small slings with it as well. I use it all the time with toothpicks. Um, I didn't want to show all the slings because obviously if we went through every single sling, all the duplicates, like the three Davises, the three Samhanis, etc., the three Agens, we're just going to get bored. You're going to see a baby spider. A lot of slings look very, very similar. So I'll try to pick up the ones that we wanted to have a quick look at and uh, pick up the ones that had a little bit of uh, variation to them. So hope you enjoyed the footage. Um, the Gigas Molt. Um, yeah, when I was <laughs> when I was time lapsing that and I saw it come out, I thought it's going to fall down its hole. When it went down its hole, its legs were bent back. So I paused the, the time lapse and laid the vial on its side so that it could right its legs. Once it uh, sorted its legs out and started to pump the fluid back in, um, I then gently put the vial back upright and it, uh, it's fine. It's absolutely fine now, as you can see from the footage afterwards. Um, I just wanted to wish every single one of you guys a very Merry Christmas um, and a Happy New Year. Um, to the people who I've made friends with over the past uh, 12 months in the hobby. Um, Mark, Scott, Kale, Andre. Um, we have so many people, Steve, uh, Vanessa, Gemma, Leah, Ellie, Lewis, Chris, everyone, um, all you guys, like anyone who subscribes to me. Um, anyone I've met in person, anyone I've spoken to at a show, all of you 
I just want to say Merry Christmas. I hope you and your family have a good one if you have families. Um, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a good time off. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Um, like the support you give me is, is absolutely superb. I'm a very small channel, um, but at the same time, I can really feel the love from a lot of people. And it's really nice. I've got some very nice words being said to me by a lot of people I look up to and respect. So um, if you did like the video, please give it a like. Um, just a like for Christmas. And I probably won't have a video out next week just simply because it's Christmas over the weekend and then uh, Boxing Day and then it's Wednesday. So we'll see, we'll see. May have a quick update because we may have some new additions coming this week, even though I shouldn't be. But I can't help myself. We might have some additions coming this week that I've got to go and collect tomorrow. So if you didn't enjoy this video, please give it a like, as I've said. Uh, if you're not subscribed, why not? Um, but no, if you if you do watch some videos, please consider please consider subscribing, and um, I'll catch you guys up in the new year, 2023. Where the hell is the time going? Anyway, catch you in the new year, guys. Ciao.